Good Wednesday morning, lads. I'm Jared Grace. And I'm Cheyenne Gallier, and this is your KWHS News. College and recruiters keep scheduling visits in the Counseling Center during lunch and advisory. Remember, you need a pass from the Counseling Center to attend. Here's the lineup for October and November. Our October visits kick off next week when Colorado Mesa University stops by on Tuesday, October 2nd. Then on Wednesday, October 3rd, we have two visits on the same day. The reps from CU Boulder will be here during advisory and at lunch. The reps from the Barbizon Modeling School will be in the Lower Commons. If you are interested in attending the U.S. Naval Academy, the team will join us on Thursday, October 4th in room 501 during lunch. Closer to home, the reps from the CSU Pueblo campus are scheduled to visit on October 11th. And the last visit we have on the books for October comes on the 16th when the reps from Ozark Christian College are scheduled to stop by. Luther College kicks off our November visits on Wednesday, November 7th, and then on November 13th, Fort Hayes State University will be here. For those of you interested in attending UCCS, they will join us on November 15th. Pulling up at the end of the month after Thanksgiving are the reps from Adams State who are scheduled to be here on November 29th. Pencil in these dates on your calendar because they are subject to change. However, we'll be sure to keep you posted as changes come up. WHS will be an ACT test site on Saturday, October 27th. The deadline to register for this exam date is this Friday, September 28th. For more information on alternate sites, dates, costs, and to register, check with the Counseling Center or go to the ACT website. One more note for juniors. Remember, the PSAT and MSQT deadline to sign up and pay for the test is next Friday, October 5th. The cost is $16 and space is limited to the first 20 students. The date for this test is Wednesday, October 10th. Seniors, if you want to know what kind of financial aid you may need, or qualify for as you are preparing for your college career, then join Mr. Walker at the Financial Aid Night on Monday, October 1st at 5 p.m. in WHS Library. Specialists will be here to help you learn how financial aid works, how to apply for student loans, and most importantly, how to fill out the FAFSA. These experts can help you begin filling out that form if you bring your tax information. Mr. Walker is your point of contact for this event. So call or email him with your questions. Two final notes from the Counseling Center for Seniors. The first senior class meeting will be tomorrow during advisory in the auditorium. You will receive information about your final year as a gladiator, so be sure to attend. If you are unable to make it, please check in with Mrs. Aveda and the Counseling Center for the details you missed. And seniors, join your classmates this Friday at 6.30 a.m. at C.A. Foster Stadium for the Senior Sunrise. Bring your blankets and some cash for coffee, tea, and lattes from Camp Coffee. Get your day started off with some fellowship. The City of Lights Homecoming Dance is almost here. The dance is on Saturday night from 7 to 11 p.m. in Bowersham. Tickets are $15 per person, and if you wait until the dance, tickets will cost you $20. Our Homecoming Court nominees have been revealed. Our Queen candidates are Kayla Miles, Sierra Perea, Sheridan Deutsch, Madison Villers, and Kiara Lee. Our King candidates are Moose Santos, Mason Schultz, Noah Potts, Brandon Ramberg, and Eric Nitsche. Voting will begin today in the quad at lunch and continues on Thursday. The whole court will be featured at the assembly on Friday afternoon as well as at halftime at the game. Winners will be announced at the dance on Saturday. Ladies, it's not too late to check out the dresses in Becca's closet. Make your appointment with Mrs. Ford in room 122 and remember, the dresses are free and yours to keep. Coming up, Let's head to the sports desk with Spencer Walter for scores and upcoming events. What's the good news, Spencer? It's Whoosh Wednesday, Glads. I'm Spencer Walter, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. NJROTC is hosting a fundraiser today at the Panda Express on 8587 from 10 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. Bring in the flyers so the team can earn 20% of your sale. See NJROTC cadets for flyers. We have a soccer player who has been named Extra Sports Athlete of the Week. Go to the Extra Sports website to vote for Salif Doombaya for the win. Voting closes on Thursday night. Speaking of soccer, our boys team traveled to Canyon City last night, but they couldn't ride out the win and kicked in a loss against the Tigers. 
The boys are headed to Woodland Park tomorrow night for a game at 6 p.m. against the Panthers. In tennis news, our boys took on the Canyon City Tigers, but their best efforts were caged and they recorded a loss. The boys are headed up north to play Rampart tomorrow at 4 p.m. We wish them the best of luck. The 4A State Golf Tournament is nearing and Joey Stroop is preparing to file his lowest score of the year. Good luck next week. Our Lady Glads volleyball team is on our home court this Thursday at 6 p.m. against the Elizabeth Cardinals. Come watch our girls bump, set, and spike their way to a win. The ladies would also like to remind everyone of their fourth annual Dig Pink Volleyball game on Thursday, October 11th against Sierra. They are asking everyone to wear pink to this match to raise awareness and show support for people fighting against this disease. They will be collecting donations and will have a special presentation before the game for a breast cancer survivor. Our Lady Glad's JV team will match up with Mesa this afternoon in a double header starting at 345. Go Glad's, beat Mesa. The varsity team is back on the road tomorrow afternoon for a game against Woodland Park at 4 p.m. Our cross country team is headed to the Northfield Invite on Friday. We'll have an update next week. Our Gladiator football team is going back to the drawing board for their game this Friday night against Cheyenne Mountain. The homecoming game is at 7 p.m. at CA Foster State. Our boys need some support, so let's all be in the stands to cheer them on. And finally, we're getting an early start on swimming news. Ladies, if you're interested in joining the swim and dive team this year, mark your calendar for a meeting with Mrs. Wickberg on October 15th in room 110 at lunch. If you cannot make it to the meeting, please see Mrs. Wickberg. That's your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Spencer Walter. Have a great week. Back to you, Jared and Cheyenne. Thanks for the update, Spencer. Glads, if you need a quiet space after school to do some homework, use the computers, or just kill some time until practices or games start, check out Student Union. The Student Union is open in the library every day after school from 2.45 until 4.15. Remember, you have to have a participation sticker on your ID to stay and play. Get those from Mrs. Price in the main office. Hope you're hungry. Here's Miss Betsy and her guests with today's and tomorrow's lunch menus. Oh my goodness, happy Wednesday, everybody! Yeah, happy Wednesday. How you doing today? Up there. Anyway, what's for lunch today? Chicken pot pie with a biscuit. Yes. For today, pie. Wednesday, chicken pot pie. And then tomorrow, Thursday? Oh, fresh from Fountain Creek, fish sandwich. Woohoo! Come down and see us. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, tomorrow's the deadline to return your free and reduced lunch application. If you owe money on your lunch account, you can pay those charges in the cafeteria or add some money to your account online. Glad it's Spirit Day and today is Tie Dye Day. Plan your outfit for tomorrow when it's Colorado Day. And Friday is Class Color Day. Wear your class colors. Remember, every day you dress up is a day your class can earn points. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors, Renaissance applications are now available in the WHS website under Activities. Download and print your application to apply for this honor. Applications are due October 1st by 3 p.m. to Mrs. Price in the main office. Seniors, listen up. Your senior photo and quotes are due by October 19th. See Mrs. Kennedy in room 103 for additional details on how to submit those for the yearbook. And while we're on the subject of yearbooks, if you haven't ordered your yearbook this year, you can order yours today in the business office, or if you prefer, go to yearbookforever.com and do it online. The cost is $55 until the end of November. Students and staff, WHS is hosting a blood drive on Thursday, October 4th in the small gym. All donors must have a valid driver's license, not a military or school ID, and parental permission for donors under 18. Permission slips are due this Friday. Sign up in the business office. Walk-ins are welcomed. If you are an alternate, you must also have a permission slip and valid ID. See Miss Mountain in room 103 for more information and details. And finally, since it's Wednesday, here's a message from Mr. Shub on Intervention Day expectations. Graham. My friends must be in the upper commons. Once you pick a spot, you gotta stay in the spot. But my friends are in the upper common. Sorry, but that's the rules. Once you're in the small gym, you stay in the small gym. You don't wander the halls and go to the upper commons. Alright, I guess I'll stay here. As is Mr. Shu, just want to touch base with you because today is an intervention advisory day. You have some choices of where you can go. You're either going to be going to a classroom, the small gym, the library, or the upper commons. 
Those are your choices. Once you go to those places, it is our expectation that you stay in those places. We will not be roaming the halls or running around place to place. Once you go there, you stay there. Hope it goes well for you today, guys. Hopefully you're not in my office for not following these rules. Have a great day. That's it for Wednesday edition, guys. I'm Jared Grace. And I'm Cheyenne Gallier. And this was your KWHS News. Have a great Wednesday.